Hi Upload, Optical Matrix here. I've been playing Dragon Age Inquisition for a couple of days now and it's everything I hoped it would be. It's such a massive game with so much to do that it overwhelmed me at first. So, to kick off our week long coverage of Bioware's new game, I'm going to help guide you through the first stages of this great open fantasy world. Here we are in the Hinterlands. This is the first stop in your journey across Thedas and it is huge. When you step out to explore, you'll be introduced to most of the game's core mechanics and there's a lot to cover, so get comfortable. The Hinterlands is a wild region that's key in the civil war that rages in Thedas. There are bandits to fight, as well as Templars and mages locked in heated battles. You can interrupt these skirmishes and take down both sides to liberate the area of any other threats. Not everything is out to kill you though, and you'll come across placid animals that you can hunt for skin to use in the game's intricate crafting system. Part of the reason for the overwhelming nature of the game is the ton of side quests and dungeons to explore, which have the added benefit on expanding the game's story and world building. You may want to just run through the story, but I recommend discovering as many of these as possible, since they offer awesome loot that will help you later on in some of the game's tougher battles. You also have the option of solving Astrarian puzzles. You can find these all over the map, and they're puzzles that revolve around completing star constellations without going over the same line twice. When solved, the completed Astrarium will send out beams of light that will point you in the direction of secret treasure. With the Hinterlands in conflict, as the Inquisition, it's up to you to spread your influence to help keep the peace. This spreads literally to another dimension, when you find out about Fade Rifts, through which come waves of demonic enemies that make the local civil war look like a playground scrap. Defeating the demons and closing the rifts can be tough, but gives you the influence you need to help the Inquisition establish a greater presence in the area, so try your best not to run away from them. While exploring the hinterlands, you come across enemy camps that you can raid and, if successful, claim as your own to further improve your influence. The added benefit of this is the gradual opening up of new areas for you to explore, so it's worth taking as many camps as possible to uncover everything the hinterlands has to offer. Influence isn't only useful in the hinterlands though. Every time you gain influence through the activities you take part in, you'll also gain power points. These points can be used in the Inquisition's War Room, where you can send the higher ranking members of the group on missions across the continent that range from negotiating with warring factions or even funerals of well respected lords or politicians. All of these will affect the game's wider story and gameplay, such as who sides with the Inquisition, so pick which general you want to send out wisely. So far, I've really only scratched the surface of what this game has to offer, but our coverage is just getting started. Add the official Upload Gamer tag as a friend and follow us on Twitter at Xbox Upload to keep up to date on more Dragon Age Inquisition clips and the other great content we have in store later this week. Thanks for watching.